What is up, YouTube? Today is an exciting day for multiple reasons. First of all, Calvin's behind the camera. You're gonna be able to tell by the quality of this video, but the shit's going down hard starting now. Olympia series, better videos, more content, it's all coming out now. Everything's getting locked in. But today is a very, even more special day because I'm training with someone who I'm very excited to train with, someone who's on stage with me in five weeks or whenever the hell I'm competing. So, you're going to see who that is soon. You're going to be very happy about this one. I've got this requested a lot, and it's a big deal. It's our first time training together. You're going to have a lot of fun. And he's, he's coming down as a coach. He's going to run the workout, put me through it. And it's leg day, so we have a chance to fucking butt egos and measure dicks and see who's going to train harder. So, we're going to have a lot of fun training, and yeah, that's about it. Also, in a new whip right now. Rented a Tesla for a little bit while we're down here in Florida just because we needed another car and this thing is bougie as hell Lots of crazy stuff going on the driving is super weird. I think I'm gonna do a little fun like I don't know review of it in the next video or something There's a lot of cool shit going on with it, but have fun with it But that doesn't matter today's training day leg day collab and you'll find out who with soon <laughs> Talk to the video guy. No, you is are. That, is that perfect. Wrong? Okay. That I, was, right? I said I'm training with someone very special today, but I didn't say who. Oh, cool. So here cool, we are, cool. the man himself, Mr. Right. Yeah, Terrence yeah. Ruffin. The guy's coming for the first place this year, so. I'm trying to, yeah. 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 I told Joe not to like sabotage you, you know. He had he had tons of plans. He's, He's gonna like, have you do like a, the whole workout's gonna be unilateral and then just end it in the middle and then you have to walk in circles the whole rest of time. What happened? You should just have me try to squat 700 pounds. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just well, fall then, apart. Then we'd have to do it too and I would want to do that. <laughs> That's fair enough. <laughs> Somebody. Those little red things, I'll show you. Like they're, um, they're really easy for the second band. 
specifically if you want them to come on at different points. Oh, you know, yeah. At some point in time, yeah, if you just put a band, maybe we actually do the bands from the bottom because I can show you using those, like on that, they can really set them like just right instead of kind of being at the liberty of where they go on the sheet. Um, if somebody actually does this, I, the, the best way to band this is to put a band here and put it under the machine and then over to that side from there. Because like that, the way this thing pulls, I mean, that's actually pretty good back there. Because it arcs, you actually overload the top the best because the band's pulling this way as opposed to that way. Yeah. I've seen some people when they band it, and I don't think they actually really think, like, oh, if I band it from that side, but it actually like makes it the opposite effect of what they're looking for. You know, it, like this one, actually, that's, that's what it is. I've seen people band from here, and like most leg presses, that would do it, but it actually deloads it. The true band king has entered the building. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, okay, I'll put bands on pack squat to make less plates. Yeah. And then that's well, like that's the band too. That's that is instilled deep inside me. Laziness is always a yeah. top factor for decision making in the gym. technical I am <laughs> working out. Like mm, the, the load is a little light here versus there and I'm just like it felt smooth. Yeah. <laughs> that matters too. <laughs> yeah, I like smooth as well too. The whole reason I like that, I mean it's knowing all the smart stuff aside, you gotta obviously use it where you're stronger. When you get to those failure reps overall it should feel better. Yeah. It's like this one I can guarantee what happens when you get heavy enough. The first part will be really easy and then you just get like stuck right here. With that one getting lighter, you can pretty much keep it smooth the whole way through. Yeah. Because yeah. okay, that's the, the normal you guys have figured out, and the smart people have figured out how to It's like those really slow grinder reps, like that's when you're going to get the most force production. So like that's like, the whole point I think of profiles, is so if I can keep the whole rep a slow grinder, that's just more efficient than where it's like half as challenging the other half isn't or something yeah. like that. See, my meat has set of science with my simple machine, so my training partner will just then they put yeah. on it yeah. and finish it every rep on yeah, the yeah. well. Well, that's the whole thing when people get, because people say, well, if I don't have the machine, whatever, it's like, that's why a training partner is more important than any machine. Exactly. Because yeah. a good training partner can fix all that. Basically, it's a good loss of tension. 
Good to know. I'm always open to tip. Shoot my guys sweet. Yeah, if anything doesn't help, then it sucks. You can say that too. So. I just won't do it. I'm not sexy. Yeah. <laughs> they say, no, that wasn't it. Basically, it's like treat your warm up sets like heavy sets, and then obviously, with the powerlifting part, the second half of that is treat your heavy sets like light sets. So, skip that part. But, like, a lot of people obviously just crank through their warm up sets, and obviously, you can go fast because it's light, but I want to like practice the same pace. Yeah. So, I want to get into the work sets, you're used to it. Half of it, obviously, you've got to go harder. Like, a lot of people, like, if you're training by yourself, you're just not used to obviously, you'll get those sticking points, or you get whatever you find that you're just trying to either speed up through a part or bounce through a part. Whereas if you got a good spot, like you know that you just contract hard, focus on that pause, contract as hard as you can. Even on this machine, you might not be able to finish on your own, and obviously I'll just spot and get them to yeah. that point. Yeah. Because that's half the whole thing with profiles. Is you, like you got to practice a little too. Some people you use something that has like a really easy point or a sticking point, you like get used to that. And so there's lots of times if you don't have a good spot or you're not used to using bands, you'll just be like used to like, oh, I'm, I can't get past this point. But if it's set up properly and you like just actually stick with the rep, then you can grind through to the hardest points still. Mm -hmm. Learning to like just stay like consistent, not like jerk and just like yeah. trust your partner. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. New aspect of training. Like, yeah. Stop training a lot. Yeah, so I don't think Terrence has learned anything from me in like five years. <laughs> but at this point in time, it's just like honestly half of it's just having like a complicated spotter. And like that's, that's, that's what I'm here for is like I add up all the reps over the course of like a workout. Like today, I'm basically here for like six reps for Terrence basically. Yeah. I'm just here for the jokes. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Probably just do like we did, like one or two pass failure. Yeah, that's about like kind of like that. Like obviously, I think on that one, like maybe I touched a tiny bit on the second to last one. That's about probably halfway through the last one. Yeah, like sometimes like spotting is a little bit machine dependent. Too. Like this one's a good profile, so it's hard the whole way through. Yeah, that's half the reason I only do like one or two. If you do an exercise that's like got like a real sticking point, then sometimes we'll do more. You know, because you can do so much more at a certain spot and just failing another part. Yeah. That makes sense. So about like the better something has like a profile, probably the less force reps you do.
Come on, Joe. Show us how it's done. Come on, finish strong. Like my drains will be clogged for a month, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't. <laughs> mine, like by the time we're done training, mine will look like that. So that's how fast okay. my hair grows. Okay. If my calf looks smaller than anyone, it's for hair. Yeah. Yeah. scientific reason we put these on so I can put more plates on here and look better for Instagram. <laughs> See my reasoning was I put it the other way so I put less plates on. Yeah. But you I know, definitely like less plates. We're yeah. filming today so we have to look stronger. Yeah. Not yeah. Well, that's a great thumbnail. I really would. I was like thinking about putting it on the bottom, but that will actually take longer. So I forgot fuck it. Like this lines up so easy. Yeah. Alright Terrence you're ready. true show of classic physique height differences right now. <laughs> My favorite response from Terrence too when people are like, you think your height has a difference is like classic physique? He's like, well I'm fucking second in the world. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck do you think height So like the, uh, other, the under 100, 100 pro guy taller than me, I'd be like, every, every time someone asks him that, he's like, I'm fucking second in the world. I'd be, how many, everyone else is taller than me. Everybody, yeah, everybody. Them. <laughs> uh, so if you're short, fucking there's your thing. If you're tall, here's your shit. There's no excuses in this video. And if you're old, <laughs> this is for the dads. 
Chris, is your dad gonna watch this? Your mom Mr. Bounce that. <laughs> we, him and I can share tips on like new balances and stuff. Mini band. Yeah, he, he rocked Thunder Armor. Yeah, he got swag. Yeah. I rock whatever I get. You give it to me for free. That's my favorite. I mean, we get to the milk. How was your first uh, Q and A today? The family one? You did one. Oh, no, you did one this year on like a uh, week or two ago. I understand you like you never really used it. I could have sworn you said it. In a few, like you did a Q and A on Instagram. Can I answer questions on Instagram? I posted the questions you, for people uh, after and I filmed a YouTube video responding, yeah. How are those two compared to like other videos? This one did well, but I, it was like me, Melissa, Ian, and Courtney. Okay. And we did like a funny one, like a family, and yeah. like who would win the Hunger Games, and like okay. who would fucking rat you up to the cops first, and shit yeah. like that. So people okay. really like that one. I just can't ask another boring question. Like, how do you get a bigger chest? What's the best split for fat lives? Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I get crazy questions every time. Really? Stay Dude, the, the worst part is like, somebody said, like, at one point, obviously, you can put nothing as a joke. Somebody asked me, like, what do I do when I hit a plateau? I did that. I was just like, you know, make sure you're actually adhering to the diet that has your surplus. You know, train harder, train progressively consistently, and that's like, it takes two steps of crazy. <laughs> Everyone took it. Ten DMs were like, I didn't really need two steeps. I thought five grams was enough. got into it like later than everyone so I got into Naruto yes. and there's fucking 5,000 episodes so <laughs> yeah that's like my favorite one and that's the best part though I'm at like the battle arc right now where it's like Madara and oh, fucking oh, yes, and dude, yeah the best part <laughs> everything's just fucking lit it's, my, it's helping my prep a lot oh, yeah that's literally yeah, the best part yeah, my favorite part right there oh my god have you seen like guy fight Madara yet no you see it it's gonna be awesome I haven't seen, I've only seen him go to the 8th gate, and I know he goes past that, so. Oh yeah, no, he fights Madara in the 8th gate when he opens oh. the 8th gate, yeah. Okay, he's done that. Okay, yeah, yeah, think, yeah. But, yeah. And they're they're just at that part, okay, like. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah. Literally, yeah. Literally, yeah. Yeah, 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 literally, you know, I started this last year before prep, and it's just, it doesn't end. It does, yeah. Now, there's one even longer than that one called One Piece. 
I gave up on it because it's like three times long. Can't yeah, finish it. I was like, I'm like, I'm never gonna be caught up. Yeah. Secret big top two in the world, anime. There it is. Well, the Olympia, I better start watching Naruto. There we go. And I don't watch any, so you look like this. <laughs> if you don't watch any. Yeah, yeah. I have a decent beard. Or what you Busted out all the stitches in his knees. 
bleeding everywhere. Like I get being hardcore, but then that's like a little, yeah. a little, a little much. Kind of dumb. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely stupid. Yeah. yeah. At the end of the day, it's less hardcore because you got to hurt yourself and then you can't work for another three months. Dude, those things are bad. like what's harder? Do what you don't want to do just rest or just fucking hurting yourself? One hundred percent. You gotta watch it though, man. Like. It's insane. But the thing is though, like Jim, that gym, like for like 10 years straight, they had like the best power lifters in the world for some reason. Like the guy, even though he was insane, he was he was intelligent but like crazy at the same time. Yeah. It's like, that mix of genius and crazy that makes it fucking was, special though. He was one of the first guys to, to uh, bring uh, chains into lifting, like oh, really? accommodating resistance, like chains. Um, he, he, didn't, he didn't really bring bands in, but he popularized, popularized it. So he brought a lot of cool things into like the lifting culture that most people didn't have. Yeah. yeah. But he was crazy too. So everybody <laughs> loves crazy. Like, <laughs> you can't be that famous if you said a little crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on, Terrence. Stay in it. You got three weeks. Come on. Come on. Work it. Come on. Up. Finish. Come on, Jared. Uh. 
Go quit. Come on, Jerry. Same shit, different leg. my question for Terrence. Oh, I'll be just about to ask you something. Go ahead. Everyone always asking me, sir. Okay. Relay of questions. All right. Because what you're the king of, and I always say what I lack, you're best at. Okay. Share some strengths. You're posing. Oh, man, posing. <laughs> posing Specifically, tips? though, you're not tips, because fuck that bullshit. It's too hard to give tips. <laughs> what, have you started making a routine this year? Um, I picked up the song for the Arnold. I was supposed to start at the beginning of this week. Would you say, though, like, the reason you're good at your posing routine isn't because you choreograph your routines, but because you just practice posing all the time, you can just flow it in your mind together. That helped out a lot. Yeah. I, like, I don't practice quite as much as I used to, but when I first started, it was about an hour every day. I probably kind of <laughs> slow down my going, for like, like, cause I would just spend like, I would train for like an hour and a half, two hours, then I'd be in like posing for an hour and stretching for an hour. Became overworking. It was a little bit much, yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> But I kind of needed that to get, you know, to kind of develop myself. Sure. Uh, I mean, it didn't slow you down that much. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then um, what else happened, well, the other thing that helped me out a lot was when I started, like, doing posing coaching for a while. Yeah. I don't do it anymore, but just having, like, five or six people make me create routines to them, yeah. it made it really easy to do in my head. Yeah, you just built it. Yeah, yeah it's kind of the same thing with any job. Once you do it over and over again, you might have to look. You might not have to look at that manual or that yeah. that uh, instruction manual or anything like that anymore. You can just kind of do it. Do you ever? How many routines have you just freeballed, like fucking on, freestyle? On, on com com competing or on like on big stages? Like, no, I always oh, choreograph. Yeah. Oh, okay. I always think it's better. I got the I got the uh, my favorite pose of all time is Lila Bada. Yeah. And I got to uh, talk to him last month, and uh, he's the same way. He says he thinks all the best. Routines are always like choreographed. Of course, yeah. He spent even more time than me. Like, he literally flew out to Spain to learn from a professional bullfighter to incorporate certain stuff into his routine. Yeah. I was like, I'm not that. I haven't got to that point yet, but I thought that was shit. cool. That's yeah. cool, yeah. See, I'm the guy who picks my song as I'm flying there. I'm looking for a song to fly me up yet. And then I'm lying backstage with my headphones and like, fuck, what do I do? <laughs> and then people look at me like, you made that up on the spot, Junior. Dude, I, so. think you, I think you've improved a lot, to be honest with you. I think 
overall, the coolest thing about you is in every aspect of bodybuilding, you improve a lot. Whether it's like your releases or your posing or whatever it yeah. is. Even though you, you say you didn't spend much time creating a routine, I would imagine you spend a lot of time working on your poses. I practice my mandatory. My, my thing that like always stopped me was yeah. the routine. So, I don't have that like artistic flow like you do naturally. So that's me stepping out of my comfort zone and even to like force it. Okay. So I'm trying to do it a little more this year. I have a song picked out now. Uh -oh. So okay. as long oh, as they <laughs> put a little routine together, it might be better this year. Okay, okay, I'm yeah. excited. I'm excited <laughs> to see. Dude. I like man, I like it. everyone's doing a really good job with the routines, man. Especially with the Arnold coming up, there's a lot of good guys that are gonna be uh competing with the So it should be good. No, when you, I noticed a fucking trend when you like really skyrocketed your popularity. Yeah. And part of it was because you're posing and then you backed it up with your physique. Everyone else was like Okay, <laughs> that's what we gotta do. That's awesome. Man. Yeah, that's no, good shit. Motivated me to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah especially when you're on my heels and I know you're better posing than me. <laughs> I gotta get get after you on that. Yeah. Dude, it's crazy. I don't know if you. Yeah, I mean, I remember we did our first show together, and I was married at the time. And going into that show, it was the uh, Diana Kadu show. Yeah, with, with Miami. Miami. Yeah. And uh, she looked at she was like, I don't know if you can beat him. <laughs> I was like, oh, God. Excuse me. And I divorced her immediately. Not my back. Yep, I divorced her immediately. That's yeah. why they're not together yeah. anymore. We're no longer married. <laughs> She's gone. She's gone. Believe in <laughs> your husband. Exactly. <laughs> but nah, dude, it's been cool, man. Like, after that show, to see you kind of get better and better and better. Course, Even man. with all the uh, the health stuff, man. That's a lot. That's a whole lot. That's yeah. what made me better, honestly. That was my wake up call of, like, actually getting my shit together. So it was a blessing in disguise. I've, I've heard that before, yeah, yeah. yeah. Same thing, for sure. If you choose to yeah. learn from things, you'll learn from them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. yeah. All right, let me go die on this, uh, this set. <laughs> you look like this you look like a motherfucking set. You're <laughs> <laughs> still trading in the back. I did mine, I get an extra break now. I'm like, this is very interesting. You guys are completely, I'm completely zoning out what you guys are saying anyway. <laughs> So I like those with the Smith, handle some more weight, not to balance as much. Uh, I've been doing dumbbell. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely heavier. I was doing one, so I yeah. Yeah. I always tell people, like, that's like a good, I think it's a good, like, skill to have. Just have some coordination. I always joke, I'll give you a pro tip, don't tell anybody. But, like, a lot, a lot of guys don't think, a lot of guys don't think about unilateral stuff. If you're loading one side, you know, obviously you have to load this side really, really heavy to stabilize, so if you're holding on here, it's mainly QL, which is like a deep muscle, but it's still external internal oblique. So same thing when guys do single arm dumbbell rows, say it's like not a bad exercise, but the whole time, you know, this whole side, even when that has to stabilize, I think it's like a sneaky exercise that the guy's way slicker. Really? They're like, oh, I don't care what because if you think about it, you yeah. might not do any rotation, external oblique stuff, but if you're basically doing it, they're just doing nice and nice, they're not moving. Yeah. yeah. So, see, don't tell anybody. Never gonna see me do that again. <laughs> well, I said the joke, like, because it's like this tricky balance. Obviously, in bodybuilding, it's not a big of a deal. But some people train and say you want to do some balance stuff, just for this whole coordination yeah. thing. And I'm like, just do some body weight every once in a while. I mean, yeah. you, shouldn't, you shouldn't be a fucking monkey that can't move outside of a leg press, you know what I mean? But I don't try to do push up at the end of every leg day. Like, six each leg a few times. Uh, it's like, once you learn how to do it, I guess that never goes away. Like, I can still do a pistol squat if I have to. I just prefer not to. I just convinced myself that that stability of my knee was like making yeah. my knee stronger. It's not a bad thing, but it's like one of those things you just honestly, you do it every once in a while, you don't have to load it. Because there is something to that coordination thing, yeah. but it's completely separate out of what do you want to load the shit out of your muscle. I never loaded it. Yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. If I could do a body weight, I would have it. Yeah, yeah, for sure.
Are you, yeah, are you, are you cramping up? What's going on? No, I just was like, oh, this is tight. <laughs> I was gonna ask you, how are you spotting right now? I had to get like a really long. You still got to do power after this. <laughs> Don't they do this in the military? I've been out for four years. <laughs> oh, that's why I got out. I can't, can't keep up with cardio. You and uh, you and Terrence are trying to do butts. <laughs> Man, we should make a butt video. Post Olympia, me and Terrence will get back together and we'll do like an NFL combine or butt training video. <laughs> All glute day. We can yeah. put you through some fucking. I don't know. <laughs> the military. I bullshit. would not want to see like the comments on that video. Pretty <laughs> <It's> destroyed. <laughs> fun though. It would be fun. I think now that we've said it, we're gonna have to do it though. 
People hold you accountable. to do that with the finisher, but it felt really good. It is really cool. So the, the nerve reason for that, so if you do, obviously every you know, squats example, concentrics on the way up, concentrics on the way down. Concentrics are more metabolic taxing, yeah. way more pumps. Concentrics cause more damage, like structural damage, soreness, doms. So this, it's only concentrics. There's no negative, so it's just concentric, concentric. Damage. So there's no loading, so it's about as nasty of a pump as you can do in a short period of time and it's also the least taxing. So it's not like structural taxing. The reality too is like when you're doing it, you feel like it's gonna be way worse, but the reality is you probably actually do less sore after a workout finishing with it than if you didn't. Than if you didn't do it. Yeah, than if you didn't do it. Because it's again, it's all, there's no structural damage, just a lot of blood flow without any damage. And so I think helps the recovery process. Yeah. And then anything just good from like, you know, you're still taking a kind of close to failure, nasty pump, you still probably like affect the rest as well too. I always finish my legs too with stairs. Yeah. Similar? Yeah, very similar. Because yeah. all the stairs yeah. is the same thing, concentric, yeah. concentric, concentric. The only thing I like about this is you can load it heavier without yeah. having to be faster. Well, right? more of a load, yeah. so like 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah. for sure, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Science. Science. This is why I like, I would say to train with Joe. I'm always excited to train with Terrence. Yeah. People are pushing me number two right now. Yeah. But Joe's someone who's science. But he doesn't train like a bitch either, so it's a good combo. Great. Who did you come? You said you're doing an eight and eight day split right now? Yeah, three on one off, three on one off. Oh, okay. 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 It's like I don't repeat that until the eight day. Do you um you write your own programming or? I always I, I do normally, but now that I turn at the end, it's Coach Patrick to it. Okay. He writes all of ours. He just writes the program and I follow. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, and if there's something you want me to do extra or different at the end, he'll like do an extra shoulder and I'll do extra chest. Or something. Okay. Alright guys, so that's a wrap on today's leg workout. We got run through it by Mr. Joe Bennett, hypertrophy coach. We're going over the origins of his names just now. <laughs> we have rough as well. We're going to the origin of his names earlier too. Yeah. It's just an origin day. Yeah. But it was a great workout. I always love training with other people. Kind of put me through it because you don't have to think. You just get run through a workout. You got some styles of training and it's always good training with some smart and some competition, some friendly competition. And you guys know me and Terrence have always had a sick little like, rivalry on stage relationship, respectful, 
He's killing it. We're just having fun up there. So it's super cool to finally get a full record together. We're gonna try to do it again, definitely yeah, in the off season. Yeah. Yeah. Murder us a little bit more, so yeah. yeah, especially since you move into Florida. So, yeah, we got plenty of time. Yeah, so if I'm here a lot more, we'll only be three hours away. You'll be seeing a lot of us and have a good time and yeah. getting on stage in three and a half weeks. So, you better yeah. take that home because you, you got to come and face me as, <laughs> no, right. as an yeah. Arnold champ. No, so no pressure, no pressure. Expectations <laughs> for me is very high right now. Oh my God. I'm waiting for it, yeah. but it'll be good. <laughs> I'm excited for you, so yeah. Hopefully you guys like the video. Be sure to, you have a YouTube too, right? Yeah, yeah, Rough Diesel. Rough Check Diesel. it out, yeah. Hypergamy Coach of yours. Yeah. Check him out, and yeah, see you guys later.